Hi, my name is James Manning and welcome again to Be Young RV. Today we're going to look at the 2013 3600 model Voltage. It's a 42 and a half foot long and has a 12 foot garage. The kingpin is where we'll start. To take some of the shock out on a heavy load trailer like this, they give you a gas shock as well as an airbag, taking out that harmonic shock between the kingpin and the receiver hitch itself. Much softer ride. For hookups made easier, they gave a reflective plate with two LCD lights for nighttime hookup as well. Makes backing up and ease. You can see the pin as you're lining up. You shouldn't have any problem getting under the receiver. Walking around to the side over here, this is the fun part. This is where you get to take all your stuff. We've got 142 foot a cu cubic foot of storage space inside. It's all sealed off nicely with a big heavy duty rubber mat. No exposed interior walls. It has an indoor outdoor carpet lining, which works as a great insulator. And you can also see that all the basement area is heated. You have a two inch duct work. You also have an outside receptacle so you can plug in some of your additional equipment. Now this unit is equipped with a 40,000 BTU furnace. Much hotter than most of them. Of course, this is a little larger than some of the other ones you'll find. At the entry door, you'll find that it has a keyless entry system. If you're like me, where keys are an issue from time to time, you don't have to worry about taking them out and losing them somewhere out on the beach while you're riding. The keyless entry, you can leave your keys inside, you can lock and unlock the vehicle. Anybody with the code can easily get in and out and don't have to have keys. Makes it kind of nice when you have the kids and they want to get something they can help themselves. And over here is the outside entertainment center. Comes equipped with two speakers, a place to hold the remote, 26 inch LCD, high def television. Great place to set and take the helmet cam pictures and everybody sit around and watch outside. Great little feature to have. And right next to the entertainment center is a 12 gallon water heater. Now the water heater on this one runs on both gas and electric with 12 gallons running on both sources. No one should ever be without hot water. Next to that is a sanitation flush. It's for cleaning out the black tank, giving you a good reading on your monitor panel. Without this, tissue tends to hook to the sensors and it gives you a false reading of full every time. At the rear door, you can see that you do have four steps, not three. When the ground tends to slope away from you as they do at so many of the campsites, that first step isn't quite as high. This area here is a galvanized toolbox. It's okay to throw your tools in wet, metal. Don't worry about it. It's not going to rust. It's not going to hurt anything. Very durable. On the back, we have a ramp that is three inches thick and a welded aluminum frame. The capacity on this ramp can hold over 4,000 pounds. The load capacity on this particular unit is over 4,200 pounds. Up above the gate, you have two big LCD backup lights with a remote backup camera. So getting into the campsites will be a little easier when you're able to see right at the back. Coming around to this side, all the ladders equipped on the voltage are portable. You can take them off or put them on as needed. And right next to the portable ladder you have two fuel stations. Both are 30 gallons. One is strictly for the generator. The other one is for your outside fuel station. You have an on and off switch with a timer. So if you do walk away from it you're not going to be without. It's a traditional gas nozzle. And with this type of system, if your generator tends to use more gas than you are, you can take your nozzle and fill up the other tank off of the one. So with 60 gallons, you'll have plenty of fuel. If you'll notice over here on the slide out, it's a Swintec design by Lippert. It has three track designs, top, middle, and bottom. With the three pulling equal tension on a transmission gearing, you have all three coming in simultaneously. You don't have the slide walking itself out. It's an even true system going in and out both directions. Over here is one of the more convenient features to have. It's a universal docking center. Inside the universal docking center, it's equipped with your cable hookup, your satellite hookup, city water connection. You can also fill your fresh water tank all from the one area. All your drain valves are above floor level. The plus side to that is if you do get caught in cold weather, anywhere from the floor up, all that area is heated, your valves will never freeze shut on you. As long as you have your heat on, you're going to have plenty of heat. 
There again, it does have a black tank flush. You can hook up from this end as well to help clean your tank. It's set up with winterizing controls. You can do it yourself. You can bypass the water heater. You can add your um, antifreeze to the system and turn on the water pump and it'll inject the antifreeze through your water system. Easy system to operate. Comes equipped with an outside light and an outside plug-in receptacle. Now when all your things are plugged in and hooked up, open up the little wheel at the bottom. You can run your, your fresh water cord, your cable cord right down through there. Closing the door and locking it, keeping people out. Your shoreline cord, it's a 50 amp cord that's over 32 foot long. So with the connection, it's not going to be a problem. You should be able to reach no matter where you park. Over here in the front, they do a dual propane bottle connection. You'll have one on this side, one on the other side, and it's equipped with an automatic switch over. When one tank drains, it'll automatically switch to the other, give you a notification that one is empty. You can turn it off, take it off and fill it while operating on the other tank. Never be without propane. This particular model is the Epic package. The Epic package consists of a few more options than you'll find on the standard V model. It comes with frameless windows, dual awnings, not just a patio awning, but you also have an awning over the garage door area. You get the alloy wheels with nitro-filled tires. Now the nitro-filled tires are a plus for people that tend to go over mountain passes. They do not expand and contract. Whatever temperature or whatever inflation you have, no matter what the temperature, that's what you have in the tires. Warm or cold, it's the same. Just one of many of the voltage floor plans that we have here at B Young RV. We have them from 35 foot up to 42 and a half. We have them from 10 foot garage clear up to 14 foot garage. Come on inside and I'll show you some of the nicer features of the interior. Welcome to the interior of the Voltage. The 3600 floor plan is one of the more popular floor plans. Great entertainment setup. It's equipped with a 5000 BTU electric fireplace heater. Great for saving your propane. Easy to use command center. You'll have all your light controls in here. Monitoring panel for your tanks. Your gas for the water heater. Electric for the water heater. All the ceiling lights monitoring panel for your holding tanks, as well as the slide out controls. Generator start switch is in here as well as at the generator. So you have two points of start for the generator. Up above you have a nice size 42 inch LCD high def television. Comes with a 5.1 surround sound system. Very nice sound to it. And it's also equipped with a DVD player. In the galley area, you'll notice that they use solid surface countertops. Not only is it a better looking than a Formica, but it's a lot cleaner to use. It's a non-porous surface. You can clean up after having chicken on it, do your salad on it next. You don't have the bacteria residue left behind. The galley is an L-shaped galley, which is kind of nice when you're in here working, you're out of the way. You got plenty of countertop, plenty of storage, slide out drawers underneath with big heavy duty roller guides, as well as a huge pantry area. Now the option on this, you can go with the standard eight foot two door refrigerator or a side by side 12 foot eliminating this one pantry, which is a good sized pantry, but they don't leave you short changed over here. You run with quite a bit more pantry space on both sides. So whether you go with the eight foot or the 12 foot, you're not gonna be short of pantry space. The dining area, this particular model has the Dream Dinette. The nice thing about the Dream Dinette, you don't have to line it up to make the bed. You loosen the deal, drop it to height, and slide the cushions together and your bed is made. Easy to pop back up in the dining room height. Set the lock on it. Go ahead and play cards, lean on it. It's in solid position. And over here you have a small L-shaped love seat which is plenty of room to sit back and relax and watch the TV and enjoy the 5.1 surround sound. Over here you'll notice at the top going into the garage there's a loft area. This particular unit sleeps quite a few people. You can sleep two in the bedroom, four in the living room, two in the loft, two on the lower power bed, as well as two on the upper power bed. I don't have that big a family and hope I never do. 
But come on back to the garage and I'll show you some really neat things that are back here in the, the voltage. Besides being protected from the heavy duty use of the toys with diamond plate going two foot up the walls, heavy duty uh, commercial grade rubber matting, tie downs that are anchored to the chassis itself. You're not just anchored to the floor, you're anchored to the chassis rails. On this one, it's a 12 inch I-beam chassis. Plenty of support when you tie down your toys. The power beds, easy to operate, just a matter of pushing a button to get them out of the way to bring the toys in. Easy enough to make by just pushing a button and down it comes. You have a freestanding voltage chair, which is kind of a nice feature. The back door ramp on this is a cable suspension. You can drop it out level, adding to the room, putting up the rails, set the chair out there. It's one of the better places at the beach to set and watch the sun go down. In the back over here is another really nice feature. For the guy that's in the garage more than he's in the house, one thing that's kind of nice to have is your own separate bathroom in the, in the garage area. It's a half bath area and it's also equipped with a washer dryer hookup just outside the half bath. And as today's generation is so fixed on entertainment, the Voltage has not just one or two, but actually four televisions. You have one in the living room, one in the garage, one in the bedroom, and one outside. At any time you want to watch your favorite movie, you'll have a free TV to do it. With so many people be using the unit, it's kind of nice to have independent access to the main bathroom. You can enter from the floor, you can enter from the bedroom, and still have a private door access to your bedroom. So at no point do you interrupt the next person taking their nap. Up here in the bedroom area, you'll find that it has a closet wardrobe slide. The slide goes out with plenty of closet space on both sides, as well as three big drawers in a chest with a nice vanity on top, good place to keep all the fun toys. If you'll notice how they did the bed up in the front, they're able to do a true queen size bed. They actually use the front end of the cap, rounding it back, making more floor space, plenty of dressing room when you get out of bed in the morning and you're not limited to a short 75 inch bed with the fitted sheets that won't fit. It's a true 60 by 80. Go to your favorite store, get your favorite bedding, it'll fit perfectly. And in the restroom, you'll find that you have a little more than average counter space with the vessel sink. The vessel sink sets on top, allowing you to use all the counter space. And with a his and hers medicine cabinet, finally the guy will get a little bit of his own space. Over here, Additional area, place to put the shampoo, put the wash rag, put everything that's kind of out of the way, right in the one area. Underneath you have some additional storage, a place for the toilet tissue. With the big side angled, neo angled shower and the skylight, there's plenty of el elbow room for the largest of folks. That's a quick overview of the 3600 voltage, one of many floor plans that we carry here at B Young RV. My name's James Manning, and I'll see you next time.